Now we'll summarize the placental circulation. It has got two parts as I told you. Deuteroplacental circulation that is the circulation from the mother to the placenta and the fetoplacental circulation that is from the placenta to the fetus. Now let us talk about the uteroplacental circulation as I told you it is a circulation of maternal blood through the intervillous space because it is here that the maternal spiral arterioles open up and it is established by 15th day after fertilization around 100 to 200 of the arterioles they open up into the intervillous space. The oxygen saturation of the blood in this intervillous space it is 65 to 75 percent and the partial pressure is 35 to 40 millimeter of mercury. Now a very important question is what is the uterine blood flow at term? In pre-pregnant state the uterine blood flow is 50 ml per minute and this increases to 750 ml per minute at term that is it increases almost 15 times from that of the non-pregnant state. And now the uteroplacental blood flow at term that is 500 to 700 ml per minute. Now let us talk about the fetoplacental circulation it comprises mainly of the blood circulation in the villi because it is here that the fetal blood vessels are opening in the villi making it a tertiary villi and this is established by 17 days after fertilization that is 2 days after the establishment of the uteroplacental circulation. Now the another important question is the fetal blood volume at term and it is 125 ml per kg. Now the next question is fetoplacental blood flow at term and it is 400 ml per minute. Now how will you remember it? The uterine blood flow at term is 750 ml per minute. This decreases to 500 to 700 ml per minute in the uteroplacental circulation and now this decreases to 400 ml per minute in the fetoplacental circulation. Now the next important question is rate of oxygen delivery to the fetus and it is at the rate of 8 ml per kg per minute and matrix metalloproteinases they are involved in this fetoplacental circulation. Now we have one more question what is the volume of blood in the mature placenta and it is 500 ml. Placenta weighs 500 grams at term and it has 500 ml of blood at term and this 500 ml of blood it is divided into 150 ml of blood in the intervillous space and 350 ml of blood in the villus system. Now this blood in the villi is carried from and to the fetus through the umbilical arteries and the umbilical veins and we will study about them through this diagram. This is our placenta, this is our umbilical cord consisting of three vessels, two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein and this is our fetus. Now just opposite to the regular theory that we know that arteries carry oxygenated blood, our umbilical arteries they are carrying deoxygenated blood. And where will this deoxygenated blood travel? It has to go from the fetus to the placenta for getting oxygenated. So the umbilical artery they carry deoxygenated blood from the fetus to the placenta. And our umbilical veins they carry oxygenated blood from the placenta to the fetus. Now the next important question that are very frequently asked are what do these umbilical arteries obliterate to form and it is the medial umbilical ligament. Umbilical ligament. Do take care of the word medial because we have one median umbilical ligament and this median umbilical ligament it is formed as a remnant of urecus and the lateral umbilical ligament that is formed as a result of obliteration of the inferior epigastric artery. Now the next one left is umbilical vein and it obliterates to form the ligamentum teres. Now let us understand the structure of the villi. We can see in this diagram this is our fetal surface, this is our maternal surface or the decidua and this is our attachment of the umbilical cord. 
So these villi, they are attached on the fetal side to the extra embryonic mesoderm and on the maternal side to the cytotrophoblastic shell. And these villi are called anchoring villi or the stem villi. Now each anchoring villi, they consist of a stem which is called truncus cori and these divide into a number of branches called ramus cori and which further divides into the ramuli cori. And this one such anchoring villi along with its branches, this complete thing is called one cotyledon which is the functional unit of the placenta. And apart from the anchoring villi, most villi are free within the intervallus space and they are called as nutritive villi. And there was a question recently asked that what is a cotyledon? And the answer to that question was the basal plate 